This is an artist rendition of the planned laser placement. Preoperative imaging was obtained with and without contrast for stereotaxis. The procedure begins with placement of a Lexel head frame in the standard fashion. After the head frame is placed, the patient undergoes a CT scan, which is merged to the preoperative MRI, which is then used for planning. After the CT scan, the patient is positioned with cervical flexion and the head elevated and the Stealth FrameLink software is used to plan all three entry points and trajectories to ensure that they are safe with overlapping of the lasers. The entire scalp is then widely prepped with chlorhexidine and draped in sterile fashion. The Lexel head frame is set to the coordinates of the first laser in the right frontal position. After the coordinates are confirmed, the reducing tubes are placed, the entry point is marked, infiltrated with local anesthetic, and a stab incision is made with a 15 blade. Subsequently, a twist drill hole is created with the drill. The reducing tubes are then changed, and the PMT bolt is secured within the twist drill hole. Subsequently, after opening the dura, we advance an obturator under fluoroscopic guidance with bomb sites to the isocenter of the head frame, which is the target, after marking the depth of the laser from the top of the bolt to the target. The obturator is then removed. And subsequently, the outer cooling cannula with stiffening stylet are placed down the same tract through the bolt. The bolt is then secured, the stiffening stylet is removed, and the laser fiber is placed. This process is repeated for lasers 2 and 3. After positioning all three lasers, the saline cooling systems are daisy-chained, and the Imrus intraoperative MRI magnet is brought in after a safety check. Subsequent imaging demonstrates accurate placement of all three laser trajectories. We then obtain a T2 coronal stack of images through the corpus callosum and begin with the first laser through the rostrum and genu. A test dose is performed to demonstrate heat and we toggle back and forth between the damage map and MR thermography. Safety markers are placed on surrounding vascular and eloquent structures. After ablation of the rostrum and genu, we turn our attention to the second laser from a posterior entry point, which crosses with the first laser, and slowly withdraw this, heating up the corpus callosum with safety markers on surrounding vascular and eloquent brain structures. Finally, the third laser, in a similar fashion, from an anterior entry point, is brought from posterior to anterior, overlapping with the second laser, to complete the callosotomy. Post-treatment imaging is then performed with without gadolinium to demonstrate completion of the anterior two-thirds callosotomy. The patient was then admitted to the pediatric intensive care unit and discharged home on the day following the procedure, without complication.